Oh, 3,000. So that's within spec. That's like perfect. And this is going to square the ring up in the bore. That's what we're checking. Up gap. And 30,000 if you're running big shots of nitrous. 16,000 second, 16,000 third. So we got the 18,000 feeler gauge. And we still have a ways to go. These rings are at about 10,000. I'll show you how we make this gap bigger. Just took a piece of steel here with some 150 grit sandpaper. And I'm just going to butt the ring up and sand it. Right now we're measuring the rod bearings. Got these torqued down to 40 foot pounds. Mike, check it. We're at this is the minimum, this is the maximum. We're at 1.003, so that's right where it should be. are marked up. I mean, the marks are lined up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, we're back with part two of the Bel Air Basics Chevy 230 build, straight six. It's starting to look like a mold now. How to set your valves on a hydraulic lifter cam. Any hydraulic lifter, push rod engine, you can do this on. You don't need that many tools, you don't need the degree wheel. I just have one on there just because I'm putting this engine together and it kind of helps. But you can do this when it's in the car. All you really want to know is where top dead center is. Both valves are going to remain closed for period of time. So the piston is going to be coming up, the valves are closed, your spark plug is going to ignite the mixture, it's going to send the piston down, and your valves are not going to open or close within that period, and that's when you need to set them. You're going to be on the base circle of both lobes. So probably right about here. And somewhere in here, there's going to be an overlap where the exhaust and the intake valve are both can be open so that's not really a good place to set both of them so we're going to want to be on base circle both which is pretty much top dead center on the compression stroke Thumb, small block Chevys, stuff like this, Chevy straight six, you can go half to three quarters of a turn. Alright, we're still recording. I'm gonna go three quarters of a turn on the intake and exhaust, and now they're set.
putting it on the block just to hold that gasket down and then you're going to want to put black silicone where this meets the cork gasket I'm going to put some black silicone here by that rear main and then um, and this is in here you put black silicone on that too in between the cork and it'll be good